Hey, this is Jinzuru here, and welcome back to Draugen. Man, so uh, this this is definitely have to be the last day, at least as what I'm, what I'm thinking, because I mean, you can't get more resolved than that. And you know, when he was talking to Elizabeth, you know, she did make a mention towards the items he was collecting, that he was just basically making connections where there weren't any. Bye, Betty. Because they knew the truth all along. One last look at our face. So, the thing I'm wondering is... You know... Is he... Actually in this location? Like he's in El, El, El Gravik. Is it actually... You know a place he's in and that's just deserted because the mine shut down and you know there were a lot of deaths or is he still in Massachusetts and he's just imagining this entire scenario okay, she's outside but I kind of want to check around the house like one last time I see her through the window. Yeah, she's right there. I'm gonna go go upstairs because I want to make sure I don't. Uh, I'm not sure if I miss anything in the other chapters, but at least uh, in this last bit, I want to miss anything. Play this one last time. <laughs> Oh, I didn't know this was a drawing point, or maybe this didn't open up until the, uh, the final part of the game. But I wonder if that's something I just missed. Which makes me wonder, I mean, obvi it's obvi obviously that's a bed. And it could only be Ruth's bed. But why was it in this room? I'm gonna have to check back. Yeah, there was a bed in the other room, so maybe that was the bed when she was younger? Perhaps? And they just kept it? This might have been like the bed they f first had for her when she was uh, a baby. They just kept it. For memory's sake, I suppose. Oh! We completed the doll. See, this is why it's a good idea to uh, do the last minute check around sometimes. There are things that you can miss. There she is. Lizzie. Body still in this room? We can't open that door. We can open this one though. The 
seem to be anything in here for us to check out. Let's say, so we can go ahead and go outside now. There's nothing more left in the house to do. Well, I do wonder if I missed a drawing location, perhaps somewhere. Had your noodle juice yet? I might be weaned off the stuff. Boo. Don't lose your taste for tea, old fruit. It keeps you human. We I... have unfinished business. We do? The final piece of the puzzle. Ruth. Come on. Let's go back to where it started. We have an appointment with a ghost. So would it be it started at the mine? Or are you talking about where she fell and died? she fell and died such an amazing view isn't it and the air Ugh. boy that sure is something I suppose what do you want to show me come sit down why did we come here Teddy to Grovik well, hmm. The letter to Frederick. The one you found in his safe, from Boston. I may have overheard a conversation somewhere, paid it no attention, but the name stuck, and Betty. And I spun a story around it that put us on this path. Do you really believe that? I mean, how often are you around people? Hmm? Could it be this? To find my sister. But Betty's not. She was never here. It doesn't make sense. So it is this option. Some places have gravity. What are you saying? Gravewick's gravity pulled us across the Atlantic Ocean? Grovy. No. I'm not saying that. That's irrational. But you believe it, don't you? That we were summoned to tell their story. I'm a man of science. I don't know what to believe. And yet, here we are. All three of us. Is this what you wanted to show me? I wanted to be close to her. Do you believe in ghosts, Edward? You know I don't. Well, you've been chasing one for years. That's different. What about me? Us. You're not ghosts. You're alive. Fair enough. So what really happened to Ruth? Hmm. I'm beginning to wonder if it was murder, but I don't think she was killed by naturally not by Simon, but by the group that wanted to hide everything up. But then again, it could have just well have been an accident. Then again, they did mention that other guy that they covered up, but they could have just paid him off, and he could not have been killed. They didn't go into how they took care of that problem, so hmm. She was probably murdered. By Simon? Simon was a convenient scapegoat. He thinks they needed one to focus their rage, blinding them to the facts. Yep. I no. think it's that. I don't believe it was Simon. Then who? Frederick? The hanged man? Someone else? Does it matter? Maybe not. So she ran from the mud. And she came here. And then someone... pushed her? If only she had wings, like a bluebird, she could have soared away on autumn winds. But why was she killed? The mine, he knows, was dangerous and not just literally. It represented something more and it held secrets many wanted buried. There were things Ruth treasure, ancient things of value to her, but cursed, if that was the right word, by a history she was unaware of.
Yep, I would go with that. Because she was playing where she shouldn't. The secret the Fretlands had kept for a generation. If people learn the truth, it might tear the community apart. So she was murdered, and the village was cursed. I hope she's at peace. And with God. Do you think that's where everyone's gone? Yeah, he's mentioned that multiple times. He has no faith in an afterlife. He saw it into his mother's dead eyes. He saw the gunshot wound in his father said, and he knew even then that heaven was a lie. He's said repeatedly he doesn't believe. They're dead. I don't believe there's anything more to it than that. But there's comfort in oblivion, and we won't be alone. We'll never know what happened to everyone in Grovik. We tried our best. We'll remember them. All of them. Maybe that will give them some peace in oblivion. Could this be your book, Edward? The one you've been wanting to write? A story about people who are isolated. Left behind by the world. You can give them all a proper ending, with no annoying loose threads. Edward, is that... A boat? But how? Who cares? Let's catch it before it sets out on another adventure. I don't understand how this can be. Dragon got tired of sailing around in it and brought it back to us. It must have been the wind. Whatever helps you sleep at night, teddy bear. Let's blouse, while the weather's still good. I need my suitcase. So get a wiggle on, old boy. I'm going to say my goodbyes to all the things. I don't think we'll be back. Meet you at the house. <laughs> my goodness. Ah, righty-ho. No rush. We have all day. Ah, oh, does that mean we can... We did open this last time. Does that mean there's more to check out? Of course, that could mean just mean extra info as per the as per the uh, the other drawing locations. That'd be nice if we can climb back out through the window. <laughs> so there is, uh, there's one curiosity of mine. Let's take this trail back up here. I do want to head back to the church real quick. I do recall um, not being able to go completely into the houses before. Okay, yeah, still the same. He's just going to take a peek, so we're not going to be able to uh, look through there. This one, yes, though. I don't think it's going to reveal anything further, though. There was nothing in it the first time. Oh yeah, except for that letter right there. Yeah, but the one last thing I really wanted to check was the, the church. So I'm gonna run up there real quick. And then uh, gonna head back to the house and get our case. This is gonna be my last curiosity for this uh, day before Heading on to the boat and hoping it has not floated off into the sun. Oh, that's the goat. I was. <laughs> it looked completely like something else. I was like, oh, they're finally going to get me in the end. Oh, it's dark in here. Uh, 
Can't pull that one last time. This is just straight eerie. Oh, there's nothing left. Did we did we cover this guy up over here? Did we did we cover this hole? Yeah, we did. So it's questionable uh, whether or not he actually uh, dug that up. Oh wait, is there something over here? Wait, is there actually something over here? Wait, there's another grave over here. Yeah, this is another grave over here. I missed that. Where does this pathway lead? Wait a minute. Oh no, this is the the the, the back way I took uh, first time through. Let myself in uh, one grand circle. Oh, no, it won't let us just uh, jump down from this point. Alright, so we got we gotta run all the way back around. Yeah, but the last time I did not notice that grave for the first time. I completely missed that. But it's kinda crazy though. You got this place in the middle of nowhere. And this village is just it's just deserted and the people are gone. And you gotta think about the fact that, you know, you have these locations like this out there in the world. Alright, let's uh, start heading back. Gotta get our case, and then we gotta get out of here. Because me and my uh, figments of imagination are done with this place. I mean, though, this is this definitely would be some place where you can just straight up live off the land. And we're gonna go this way. Wait, wait, is that a? Okay, I thought that was like a cave or something over here. Give my hopes up last minute. I wonder if we can raise this back up at the end. No. Alright, let's head back inside, get our case. There she is. Come on, Teddy. Pack your things. I'll meet you by the boat. Do you never sit still? Don't be a wet blanket. Let's make like the wind and get out of here. She goes to the teleporting. Guess we'll take that piece with us. Leave that since it's not really our sister. Now it's time to uh, say goodbye to Gravik. So 
sounds like something moving in the bushes. Come on, let's go. Row, Teddy, row. still cold it's a fjord lissy and it's almost winter there will be snow when we get back to Hanover. the house will be warm are we going to be all right edward i think so
Hold up now. Edward and Alice will return. See, I would actually be willing, definitely willing to play a game. You already know the concept of the fact that Alice does not exist. And that she's just a part of his mind. That one in itself is like I'm I'm definitely interested in seeing like where they go next with that. Cause that would that would be freaking amazing if he's just going around like solving mysteries. <laughs> and it's got a connection like he keeps how do, how do I how do I say this? Like it would be nice if he just kept forgetting that Betty is dead and he kept repeating the process over and over again and then we're going through another mystery entirely and solving it while he's still looking for Betty. That would be... <laughs> well, I don't know. No, I probably... That would be amusing, but I think I would like it better the route of, you know, him coming to terms with the fact that, you know, his sister died when he was young and that, you know, the incident led to his father killing himself. Well, not so much that, but, you know, the fact that on top of Betty dying, his condition within itself of him speaking to people that aren't there. So it would definitely be nice to see, you know, his story continue. And he's just, you know, progressing still while still talking to, you know, Lissy. So... That's definitely the the other thing that I've noticed that like um it seems like they're dual names like it Lissy also has the name of Alice. So I don't know if there's something more to that because it was like Betty also had Elizabeth. Well, I'm really interested to like know what connection there is to that so if like if each person has a dual personality Oh man, so like, I'm, I'm like, I'm going off on tangents here, so, uh, I'm gonna leave this here, and, um, hopefully they do come out with something else, and we can progress more into, you know, what they've set here with this game. See you guys later.